Thunder Road, 1958. Let me tell the story. I can tell it all about the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> A 12-year-old Walter Mitty. I got older after Thunder Road left me and the movie theater in its black and white dust, hung up my Never Neverland shadow in the closet, and began getting in touch with the darker side of getaway car noir, resigning myself to a future of rum-running Kentucky moonshine over moonlit mountain roads, outrunning the revenuers and rival bootleggers. His daddy made the whiskey, his son he drove the load, and when his engines roared, they called the highway Thunder Road. Well, somebody had to drive the load. Might as well be me. <laughs> and in the bathroom mirror, honing my best Bob Mitchum, practicing the sleepy barroom eyes, trying to will the cleft of his jaw into my own undimpled chin, talking tough with the wooden match dangling the playful Paul Mall glued to a wry grimace. A man has a right to do anything, including making whiskey, as long as he does it on his own land. I logged hours as Mitchum's Lucas Doolin, languishing behind the big wheel of that black derelict rusting out in the field behind the barn, witch grass growing up between the manifold and floorboards, exuding its mild halitosis of mold, mildew, iron oxide, and the sun rot of flat tire rubber. Just a long-forgotten walk-in bank vault of car dreams and captured time. Right hand on the wheel, left elbow propped out the window, me elevated on a stack of sofa pillows gone AWOL from the living room, and in the rearview mirror, me entertaining the question, who would get me first? the law or the devil and having seen the movie twice well the devil was just a matter of time and it was moonshine moonshine to quench the devil's thirst the law they swore they'd get him but the devil got him first me going out with that old Hollywood crash and burn down at the bottom of the mountain gorge. Mr. Cool, Mr. Nonchalance, Mr. Lucas Doolin, because when my engine roared, they called the highway.